Ok, muy bien. Vamos a ver. Voy a Este creo yo, este creo que es el laboratorio de Valerie. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver, Mayrita, vamos a buscar el suyo. Este es de que José Carlos. Ay, me fue Rosa América. Raquel, K, Rachel, quiero vernos aquí. Vamos a, aquí está, va, va, vamos a ver. Ok, vamos a ver acá. Acuérdense que los phrasal verbs, o sea, en este caso que estábamos, estábamos viendo phrasal verbs de, de viajes. Por ejemplo, quiero ver, vamos a ver. Hola, Robert. Hola. Bueno, Giselle, no sé si le estaba funcionando ahí el micrófono. Excelente. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Ok. No los he terminado de calificar todos, ok. Analizamos, por ejemplo, vamos a ver, Giselle, aquí tengo el tuyo. Vamos a analizar solamente uno para que ustedes más o menos me entiendan cuál era la, cuál era la idea. Vamos a hacer un poquito aquí más grande. Ok. Camila is coming, nice. El verbo, el phrasal verb era set off. Busquen sus anotaciones. ¿Qué era set off? ¿Se recuerdan qué era set off? Ajá, thank you. Busquen sus anotaciones. ¿Qué era set off? Decir adiós. Exacto, es como una forma de decir adiós. Dice, my friend and I will set off. Ok, for my birthday party. Ok, si nosotros lo, pudi lo pudiéramos traducir, mi amiga y yo vamos a decir adiós para la fiesta de cumpleaños. Quizás hubiese sido mejor como agregar, my friends and I will set off eh, to my brother because she's going to travel to Europe. Por ejemplo, como le vamos a decir adiós, porque va de viaje, ¿ok? Vamos a ver con el siguiente. What is take off? What is take off? Uh -huh. Five, four, three, two. Take off es despegar. Acuérdense, cuando, no so, cuando por ejemplo, el take off se aplica para los medios de transporte, pero solamente los medios de transporte que despegan de la tierra, obviamente, hacia el cielo. En este caso, por ejemplo, cuando un, cuando un aeroplano, cuando un avión, en este caso, despega, ¿ok? Aquí siento que lo aplicaste es como eh, qu quitarse una camisa, pero que en este caso no. Aquí, en este caso, para el take off es despegar. Por ahí me preguntaban, Perdón, en el caso de take off, si era lo mismo, por ejemplo, cuando despegar una calcomanía. Ahí sería take it, pero el take off es despegar. Vamos en este caso con el get. ¿Qué era get on? Get on. I will get on with work. Bajarse. ¿Perdón? Bajarse. Get on. Ajá, it is bajarse. Get on. Su, su, subir. Exacto, exacto. Okay. I will get on. I will get on with work and keep quiet. Creo que aquí no se aplicaba muy bien. Pero igual, vamos con el get away. ¿Qué es get away? Es un phrase, ver, pero ¿qué significa get away? Ajá, five, four, three, two. Por ejemplo, darse una escapada. Como por decirse, ah, I need to get away because I'm tired, ¿ok? So, don't let him get away. También aplica, sí, muy bien, aplica. Don't let, no le permitas, don't let him get away. Y vamos con el último. ¿Se recuerdan que era el drop off? Con ese finalizo, ¿qué era el drop off? Five, four, three. To, el drop off es como decirse, bueno, puede ser como, eh, como bajarse también cuando decimos, I get the wrong boss, the wrong boss, so I had to drop off, como bajarme, ok. So, he dropped his car off at the mechanics, ok, en este caso sí aplica. Giselle, quizás nos, nos tuvimos un pequeño... 
Quizás aquí sería. En esta fue la única. Quizás nosotros pudimos haber fallado. Así que no he terminado todavía de calificar todos los laboratorios. Por eso es que todavía no les he mandado el cuadro, eh, el cuadro de las notas. ¿Alguna duda o consulta, mis queridos alumnos? ¿Cinco? ¿Cuatro? ¿Tres? ¿Quieren que analicemos otro o me quedo ahí? ¿O alguien que me diga, Ticha, puede analizar el mío o me quedo ahí? Sí, five, four, three, two, and one. Ok, my dear student, let's start. Let me see, I'm gonna, wait a minute, because the video is loading, the video is loading, okay. Okay, this is an advertisement. Okay, my dear students, so look at, look at my screen. So today is Monday, right? Today is Monday. So the topic for today is very, um, it's not complicated if you pay attention in class, but let's talk about his and her future plans, okay? For example, let me ask to Camila, could you please open your microphone? Thank you so much. Hi, Camila, good evening. Hi, teacher. Okay, Camila, I'm gonna ask you a specific question. If you want, please, you can invent, okay? It's not necessary to say the truth, just invent, but please, try to, try to give us three or four examples but please invent okay. so camila what are your plans for 2023 listen to camila listen to camila's plans okay camila what are your plans for 2023 my plans are a uh, travel to other country and mm -hmm. visit beautiful uh, beaches mm -hmm. and other plans are and um, i would like to get some pets and i would like to get a job all right thank you so much now look i'm gonna present camila's plans try to follow me for example camila wants to travel camila is planning to get new pets but me, but Camila is planning to travel and Camila is thinking to get a job, okay? Easy. Camila, choose one student, please. I got Alessandra, Giselle, Mayra, Noeli, Robert, Jennifer is coming. Okay, please, choose one. Uh, Gabriela. All right. I, I, I didn't mention Gabriela because she's in a traffic jam, okay? She's joining the class as a listener. That's why I didn't mention Gabriela. Okay, and uh, Roberto. Okay, good evening, Robert. Good evening, teacher. Okay. Hi, Cam. The same question. In men, please, tell me about your plans and then I'm gonna try to present mm -hmm. your plans into the audience. Okay, Robert, go ahead. Okay, teacher, good evening. My plans are the the of the next years is the first uh, i'm going to meet meet the eiffel tower in france then i will to travel uh, to italy to or um to my parents Mm -hmm. And the my plans to the next Christmas uh -huh. is, is visit my my friends in England. Okay. Uh -huh. That's, That's all. Okay. Are my plans? Right. Thank you. So I will try to remember the details. Okay. I'm going to introduce Roberto's plans. Number one, he's thinking to go to Paris, maybe because he wants to visit the Eiffel Tower. And the second, uh, she's, he's planning to visit some friends for Christmas. Okay, easy peasy. So Robert, choose the last student, please. Choose the last student. In esta clase vamos a aprender 
ya no hablar de mis metas, ya no hablar de mis objetivos. Ahora voy a aprender a decir los objetivos de otras personas. Ok, Robert, go ahead. Choose one. I got Alessandra, okay. Giselle, Jennifer, Mayra, and Noeli. Giselle. Ok, thank you so much. Giselle, the same thank question. You. In Ben, please. Giselle, what are your plans for 2023? Concluyo contigo. Please, go ahead. Yes, teacher. Uh, In Ben, yes. Um, I think it's uh, travel to the United States or other Latin America countries. Mm -hmm. uh, pass high school with honors, be able wow. to do more things like study more, learn another language, mm -hmm. and get involved in the career I want to pursue. Uh -huh. Yes, well, good. See. <laughs> That's it, teacher. Okay, nice. Thank you so much. Let me introduce Giselle Plants. Okay, she's thinking. She's thinking to travel to United States or maybe any Latin country. And also she wants to pass her school degrees. And I think she's planning to, I forgot the last one. Could you please, Giselle, repeat it? The last example. Um, the last one, I forgot it. More and learn another language. Ah, and also at the end, she's planning to learn a new language. Okay, so thank you so much, Giselle. Thank you to all of you too, guys. So look at my example. Cuando nosotros queremos hablar de los planes de alguien más o en terceras personas, observe estos ejemplos. For example, she's planning to, she's thinking about, she said that she wants to. Okay, again, she's planning to, she's thinking about, she said that, or she wants to. Obviously, can I replace the word she instead, for example, Alessandra is planning to, Camila is thinking about, Robert said that, or Noeli wants to. Okay, is there an equation about five, four, three, two, and one? Look at. I'm gonna choose one student and look at the example. You are going to read first and then look at the example. How can I present, in this case, how can I present Arim plants? ¿Cómo se pronuncia el nombre de ella? Arim, Arim. Vamos a ver cuáles son los planes en este caso que ella tiene. I'm gonna ask you, let me see, Giselle. No, 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 excuse me. Uh, Jennifer, would you like to help me to read, please, the red one? Yes, teacher. Go ahead. My name is Aikerin. I'm a, I am a student of... Um, SSMU. It's an, univer it's an university. SSMU. I am 19 years old. I am a student of the first years of study. I have a lot of plans for future. And my first dream is to... Grade, 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 graduate graduate mm -hmm. from the university and start working as a doctor gastro in gastroenterologist 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 my future profession is my own choice i study with pleasure i would like to earn my own money and become more independent all right choose please uh, jennifer or oh, let me see i'm gonna ask you noeli would you like to help me to read please excellent nice the red one again the red one again please go ahead oh, noeli thank you Escucho la bulla que tenés al fondo, hija, pero no te escucho a ti. Ah, uh, es 
Ah, uh, nice, excellent. Oh, no worries, please, no worries. And then, yes, thank you, Jennifer. You are going to help me to read the black one. Okay, pongámosle, pongámosle turbo a esto, señores, okay? Me encantan las clases dinámicas, pero necesito que usted tenga las pilas ahí con el micrófono, okay? So, Noeli, would you like to help me to read again the red one information? This one. My name is Adrian. Ah, uh, Noeli, thank you. Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead, please. Ay, sorry, teacher. Es que me venía sentando porque venía a cenar. Por donde... Ah, no worries. Okay, no worries. Please, help me to read the information, the red one. Go ahead. Uh, really? Yes, thank you. Uh, yes, I am a story of is is i am 19 years old 19 years old i am a student of the first year of study i have a lot of plans for future mm -hmm. and, and my first dream is to graduate from the university and I start working as a doctor gastroenterologist Gastroenterologist. Ah. My future profession is my own shoe choice. Shoe choice. I study with Lizard. I would like to earn my own money and become more independent. Independent. Okay. Thank you so much, my beauty. So look at the example. Okay. The information it's about a student who is studying in the SSMU Academy, or maybe in this case, a university, okay? She said that she got a lot of plans, okay? And also one of, he, one of her objectives is to, is to earn her own money because he wants to be more independent. Now, look at how can I introduce someone else, but before to, before to continue, do you understand or do you do you have the idea what is gastroenterologist guys any idea gastroenterologist she's a doctor she wants to be a doctor to be more specialized in gastroenterologist so any idea or say no teacher we don't have any idea yes or no five four three yes teacher okay so look at what is a gastroenterologist let's see Okay, thank you, Gaby. Nice. So, how can I say it in English, Gaby? Look at. ¿Quién es, la, ¿Quién es un gastroenterólogo? Jennifer, would you like to help me to read? A gastroenterologist is. A gastroenterologist is a physical with dedicated training man, man, ma, management, management of these, uh, disease disease of the gastrointestinal tract and liver. Okay, in liver. Thank you so much. What is a gastroenterologist? Someone who specializes in digestive health care. And look at, this is the digestive. So a gastroenterologist is a person who management this kind of problems. Okay, I know and I hope this is clear now. Okay, let me see. I'm going to ask you, Robert, would you like to help me to read? How can I introduce Adrian plans? Go ahead, please. She's planning. She's planning to graduate from the university. Also, she's thinking to be a doctor in gastroenterology. And also, she's planning to earn her own money and become independent. Independent, okay. Any question about it? Five, four, three, two, and one. Now look at this, look at the second example, okay? My most immediate plans are holiday plans. So look, at, now I got a second character. Okay, well, I got a second, uh, um, I got a second participant, if I can call it like that, okay. Vamos a leer la información de ella, okay? Who's she? I'm gonna ask you, Alessandra, would you like to help me just to read? Please, guys, 
Alessandra is going to help us in order to read. And then I will ask you in a specific, what's the reading about? What are her plans? So please try to be ready. So give us two or three or four details about her. No necesario que dé la gran información, no. It's not necessary to be a lot of information, just a specific, but please try to follow Alessandra. Okay, Alessandra, go ahead. Okay. My most immediately plans are holiday plans. I'm going to visit my brother who's working in Australia. My mother and I are going to spend Christmas with him in the summer. So I'm very excited about that. When I return, I have to make a final decision about which course I'm going to study next year. I'm still not sure. I might do fashion design or I might do landscape design. It's difficult because I'm interested in both clothes and gardens. If I choose landscape, I like to work with my friend Jasper. He's brilliant with gardens and we'll already work on two together. It was great, fun, and we get on very well. In five or 10 years time, I would like to have my own business and work for myself. Like my father, he has his own building business. I might even do a business course after I finish art school. Oh, all right, perfect, thank you so much. Guys, before to introduce her plans, I got a question. Look at, what is fashion design and what is landscape design any idea about it what is fashion design and what is landscape design five four three two, um fashion three. design i think that is uh when we refer to clothes okay and what well, about landscape? i don't know <laughs> the second okay so any idea Alessandra said fashion design is a person who works with clothes, designing clothes. Okay, that's good. But what about landscape design? This is this is a very common job in the United States, but for fashion design and landscape design, you have to go to the university because you have to study this because our careers. Okay, so landscape design and idea five, four, three, two, one. Okay, look at my example landscape designer and look at the second picture fashion designer now i got a question according to the teacher, teacher yes sorry La, uh, landscape designer is like a architect it's like a, yes it's like a, mm -hmm. exactly mm, okay. Okay, okay good okay is that maybe it's a kind of, it's a kind of, but an architect have to study more and give us more specific, like a building a bridge or building a castle or, or building buildings too. But in landscape mm -hmm. designer is a person who designs gardens, for example. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Beautiful Thank gardens. You. Yes. I don't know if you have the opportunity to see many beautiful gardens in the United States. To be more specific, in California has many, has many beautiful gardens. So most people like to most people like to hire. Hay muchas personas que le gusta contratar. Most people like to hire landscape designer. Okay. In El Salvador, maybe it's not a good career, right? Maybe it's not a good career. But in United States, it's a famous career. And look at the fashion designer, okay? As the picture shows us, it's a person who designs love. Simple as that. Okay, so I'm gonna, let me see. No, yes, Alessandra, would you like to introduce her plans, please? Just give us two, three, or four details. Okay, Ale, thank you. Go ahead, and then please, Camila Torres, be ready. You are going to present her plans. Okay, first she um <laughs> she going to look at it. Look at look at look at this one. You if you okay, want you okay. can use she's planning to, she's thinking about, she said that, or she wants to. 
Okay. okay. You got it? Nice. Excellent. Yeah. Okay. Okay, again. Okay. She wants to, um, to have a decision about her study. And she traveled with her mom. And... Uh, I don't know. <laughs> and she wants to have her own business. Excellent. Thank you, Ale. Camila, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Okay. And then, please, Mayrita, are you ready to present? Let me know, Thank Mayrita. You. Perfect. Nice. Thank you. Okay, Camila, try to present her plans. She's thinking of visiting her brother and spending Christmas with her mom and brother. Mm -hmm. She's also thinking for working with her friend. And she wants to study next year a fashion designer. All right. Thank you so much, Mayrita. And then please be ready, Robert. My Yes, go. My, my plan is, is um, I finish, finish the course in English. Um, uh, uh -huh. Okay, go, go ahead, continue. I, I, I got, I got, I got uni, university. Okay. University. Um, uh, carrera in career career uh, is a doctor a doctorado in me, medica in medicine medicine okay okay nice thank you Mayrita el ejercicio era que me presentara cuáles son los planes de la chica de la fotografía pero está bien usted me dijo <laughs> lo suyo pero okay no worries no worries okay let me let me continue with Robert Robert would you like to try Okay. Okay, please. I'm going to conclude with you. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know if Gabriela or Jennifer or Giselle would want to participate. Just let me know, ladies. Okay, Robert, go ahead, please. Okay, teacher. She's planning to visit her her brother. And, and she wants um, five or ten years. Um, uh, has um, her own business and work okay. like like her father. Uh -huh. That's all. Okay, nice. Thank you so uh -huh. much. So, is there a volunteer teacher you didn't mention me, but I would like to participate? No, fine. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, Luca. She's planning to go to Australia because her brother lives there. Also, she's thinking about her career. She's thinking to study to be a fashion or landscape designer. And finally, she's thinking in having her own business like her father. Okay, when you present guys, um, oh, well, it doesn't matter when you present, someone else plans or in general try to be careful with the grammar structure look at she's planning to because also she's thinking to and finally tratemos como de, de pulir la parte no de la fluidez porque yo sé que la fluidez la tienen y saben por qué la tienen porque cuando yo les hago una pregunta X pregunta, todos en, todos en este caso contestan. Yo cualquier pregunta que les haga, todos contestan. ¿Cuál es el detalle que tenemos que trabajar? La parte de la estructura gramatical, la colocación de las palabras, ¿ok? Observen acá y es, es, es aquí bien, bien fácil de identificar. Ella está planeando, ella está planeando ir. She's planning to go. Pero si yo quisiera, ella está planeando estudiar. She's planning to study, ok, estructura gramatical, en este caso she's planning to go, she's planning to go to Australia y vamos a dar una razón because her brother lives tercera persona, 
her brother lives there. Y para agregarle más, si yo quiero seguir hablando de un mismo tema, simplemente le agrego la palabra also. Yo puedo decir, because her brother lives there, and also, y también, o puedo decir solo also, también, she's thinking about. Ella está pensando en, en este caso, en su carrera. Entonces, las palabras, por ejemplo, como also, y finally, son palabras claves cuando uno presenta algo, porque el also nos sirve para seguir dando información. Y cuando ya vamos a concluir, para que se, eso se vea como limpio, and finally, she's thinking in having her own business like her father. Okay? Try to take into account also, well, because, also, and finally. Okay. I'm going to conclude with the last example. And then, guys, I got an activity. Ya les explico cuál es la actividad que vamos a hacer ahora. Y con esa, yo creo que esa sí me quiero ver. ¿Qué hora son? Sí, yo creo que me va a llevar unos 10 minutos. Ok, pero I'm going to conclude with the last one. Ok, I'm going to ask you, Gabriela, are you ready to participate? Let me know, Gabi. Because I got, I, I got a message from you and you said you are in a traffic or something like that. Let me know, okay? Hi, Rachel. Good evening. How are you doing? Hello, Rachel. Hello. Hi, teacher. Nice. Excellent. I don't listen to you. Okay, um, nice. Uh, Perfect. Reading the text. <laughs> okay. Uh, Rachel, would you like to help me to read? Okay. Perfect. Okay. And then, Thanks. guys. The same dynamic, okay? I'm going to conclude this part. The same dynamic. Rachel is going to read. And you are going to introduce Carla's plans. It is it clear? Five, four, three, okay. two. Excellent. All right. So, Rachel, go ahead. Okay. My name is Carla. I'm a student. I study at Dunnas. I'm a 19 years old. I'm a student of the third year of a study. I have a lot of plans for future and my first dream is to graduate from the university and I start working as an economist. My future profession is my own choice. I study with pleasure. I would like to earn my own money and become more independent. independent. Nowadays, everybody dreams about a successful career. Everyone, in this part, everyone. Ah, yes, sorry. I would like to earn my own money and become more independent. Nowadays, everyone dreams about a successful career. I also want to become a very good economist. I like to communicate, communicate with people. So I will be happy to organize and lead a project in the sphere of economics. I am also found, found on of foreign language. Yes, foreign in, language. Uh, English and German. I plan to visit Germany and the USA in order to practice my language skill and learn something new about the custom and tradition of these countries. I want to see the famous state of liberty and other places of, of historical interest with my own eyes. When I successful success succeed. in my career, I succeed in my career. I plan to create a family and have children. My parents have children. Okay, the last part is not important. My parents have three. Okay, the last part, the last point is not important. Ahí se me fue esa, para mí, esa oración, por decirlo así. My parents have three. Okay, so I'm going to read again for all of you. Thank you, Rachel, and please, I'm going to choose three students in order to introduce Carla's plans. Okay, thank you. My name is Carla. I'm a student. I study in Doxy. I am 19 years old. I'm a student of the third year of study. I have a lot of plans for future. And my first dream is to graduate from the university. Okay, I, it is, well, I can say one of my plan is to graduate. Yo puedo decirlo así, one of my plans, pero también como para presentarlo en otra forma, my first dream. My first dream is like a, this is the, the most important, okay? 
And my first dream is to graduate from the university and start working as an economist. My future, professor, my future profession is my own choice. I study with pleasure. What is pleasure is like a, I study because, or I study and also I like it. Or I study and also I enjoy it. I would like to earn my own money and become more independent. Nowadays, nowadays significa y ahora en día, hoy en día, o ahora en estos días. Nowadays, everyone dreams about successful career. Uh, I also want to become a very good economist. I like to communicate with people, so I will be happy to organize. Aquí va con otro plan que ella tiene. I will be happy to organize and lead, lead viene liderar, and lead a project in the sphere of economics. I'm also from a foreign language, English and German. I plan to visit Germany in the USA in order to practice my language skills and learn something new about the customs and tradition of these countries. I want to, aquí seguimos hablando de los planes de ella, I want to see the famous statue statue, para decir estatua, statue, statue of liberty, and other places of historical interest in my own eye. When I succeed in my career, I plan to create a family. It's like a, I want to get married, or it's like a, I want to have a family, and have children, punto. Okay, let me, let me start with you, Rachel. And then please, Giselle, be ready. You are the second one. Rachel, would you like to introduce Carla's plan, please? Yes, sister. And with the, the, the... No. Teacher, ¿cómo puedo hablar después? Oh, okay. Yo voy caminando ahorita. Okay, no, well, let, let's see. So, see how Giselle is going to do it, okay? Giselle is going to give us the example. Okay, Giselle, would you like to introduce Carla's plans? Thank you. Um, his plans are to graduate for university, be an economist, mm -hmm. economist um, earn a lot of money, and be able to travel to United States and Germany to be able to put into practice to the language here learner. Let's yeah. see. Okay, nice. Let's see. Let's give us some seconds to Rachel. Let me see. I'm going to ask you, Jennifer, are you ready to present Carla's plans? Oops, Jennifer, thank you. Hello. Fine. Four, three, two. Let me know if you got some, some issues. Yeah, you connect. Let me know if you got some issues, Giselle. Excuse me, Jennifer. <laughs> I get confused. I don't know why. Alessandra, please. You are the second one, and I'm going to conclude with Rachel. Oh, if there are volunteers, let me know, please. Okay, Ali, go ahead, please. Okay, her plan is um, graduate from the university and. Uh, <laughs> Read, read again. Okay. She has many uh -huh. She would like to earn her money and become more independent. Mm -hmm. And she would like to create her family and have children in yes. her future. Excellent. Easy, right? Let me see. Rachel, are you ready to present or may I choose another one? Five, four? Me... Okay, let me see. I'm going to do this. Is there a volunteer or may I choose? Five, four, three? Me, did you. Okay, let's see. Marita number one and Robert number two. Okay, Marita, what are Carla's plans? Carla plans is university and... and... In economic, uh, my uh, uh, I fall in language. Okay. I plan visit I Germany. Okay, nice. Thank you, Mayrita. Okay, Robert, I'm going to conclude with, with you presentation and then I'm going to pass to the last dynamic. Okay. 
Uh, the, the first dream to Carla is to graduate from the university and start working as an economist. Also, her future profession is her one choice, one choice, mm -hmm. one choice. And then she thinking about fund of foreign language, English and German. Mm -hmm. she's, pl she's planning to visit Germany and USA to practice her language, her language skills. Excellent, that's nice. No, that's all and that's perfect. Thank you, Robert. So, volunteer, or may I continue with the last dynamic? Five, four, three? Okay, nice, excellent, go ahead. Carla is a student and uh, she have a lot of plans for the future and the first dream is to graduate the university and in her future is mm -hmm. profession is, is her choice and she studied with, with pleasure and she wants to create a family and she have uh, children and All right. perfect thank you so much okay finalizo con la última dinámica lo que ustedes van a hacer es bien sencillo voy a crear voy a crear salas yo creo que es la primera vez que voy a hacer esto voy a crear salas en zoom por parejas y Usted le va a comentar a su compañero o a su compañera cuáles son sus planes a futuro, futuro cercano, etcétera. Usted puede, invente por favor, ¿ok? Y su compañero va a ir anotando, ah, estos son los planes de Alessandra, estos son los planes de Camila, o sea, con la persona que a usted le toque. Y de ahí, usted en este caso va a escuchar cuáles son los planes Ok, los sueños que su pareja en este caso tiene. Usted va a decir, ah, Jennifer dijo esto. Entonces, usted va a presentar después los planes de su pareja y su pareja va a presentar los planes o sueños o metas que usted tiene. Así que los voy a poner en parejas. Antes de comenzar, eh, obviamente los voy a poner en salas y ustedes solamente van, va a estar usted y su pareja discutiendo. Ok, yo creo que son las 7 con 43. 44, 45, 46, 47. Yo creo que unos seis minutos, siete minutos, creo yo que son suficientes, ¿ok? Para que ustedes puedan, porque necesito que pasen todos. Ahora, ¿tienen alguna duda o alguna consulta? ¿Usamos bien? Me va a salir un grupo de tres y de ahí voy a formar parejas. ¿Dudas o consultas? ¿No? Robert, you got a question? Okay, nice, because your microphone is on. Okay, regáleme no. un minuto, ahí regáleme un par de segundos. Vamos a crear salas. Okay, regáleme ahí un par de minutos. Muy bien. Y el último. Ok, señores, ahí vamos.
Hola, Mayrita. Este, mi compañera es, tiene problemas con el micrófono. Sí, y... así me está diciendo. Teacher. Hola, hola. Está teniendo problemas con mi micrófono. No sé si me puede volver a meter a la sala. Voy, espérame, quiero ver. Ahorita voy, ahorita. Okay. Démosle.
Okay, nice. Giselle, Cami, would you like to be the first one to present your partner's plans? Yes? For me, yes, teacher. Okay, Camila, you're going to be the, the first one. Giselle, you're going to be the second one. Okay, Camila, tell me, what are Giselle's plans? Um, her plans are pass the grade and with the honors, learn French and Korean, travel to other countries with her family, and that's all. All right, that's nice, excellent, thank you. Let me see, please. Giselle, tell me what are Camila's plans? Go ahead. Uh, she plans to live in Madrid, teach every science class, and she wants to have new pets. She wants to go to a concert. Wow, That's it. excellent, really nice. Thank you so much. Alessandra, are you ready to present Mayra's plans? Oops. Ale, thank yeah. you. Ah, oh, nice. Okay. And then, Mayrita, usted va a ser la segunda. Okay. 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 Alessandra, tell me, what are Mayra's plans? Okay. She wants to continue the university studies. And she wants to study, um, how do you say doctoral? A master degree. Okay. She wants to study a master degree. In medicine? To medicine. be specific. Uh-huh. Yeah. And she would like to finish uh, the English course. Mm -hmm. And I don't remember the other thing. Okay, nice, excellent. Let me see. Mayrita, are you ready to present Alessandra's plans? She is a plan, it is, is finish a university. Uh huh. And, uh, I is a uh, travel. She wants to travel. The planet is a travel. Is Italy to Italy? My sister. Mm -hmm. And he, he, my life with from my mother. I guess. <laughs> Okay. Oh, okay. Thank you so much. I'm going to conclude with Jennifer, Rachel, and Robert. Who wants to start? Me, teacher. Okay. Thank you, Rachel. Hey, I don't know, but uh, Jennifer got some issues with her internet. Uh, did he enjoy the conversation? Rachel, Robert? Did she enjoy the conversation? She listened, just listening. Ah, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's see. Okay, let's present Robert's plans. Okay, he wants to travel to, no, he wants to travel to Italy the next year. Uh -huh. And he meets parents and friends. Mm -hmm. And he wants to visit a Cap Nou of Barcelona. Mm -hmm. And he wants to visit to England. And he, in the future, they get married, mm -hmm. gets married with her girlfriend. And oh, wow. finally, he wants to finish the second career, specifically civil engineer. Civil engineer. Okay, thank you, Rachel. I'm going to conclude the class with you, Robert. Would you like to present Rachel's plans? Thank you. Okay. Rachel is 22, 22 years old, okay. and her plans, her planning is finish her career international marketing wow mm -hmm. then then he he she? will she, she sorry mm -hmm. she will uh, will going to she will go visit uh, she will go visit mm -hmm. to visit uh -huh. um some theaters in another mm -hmm. country or mm -hmm. different countries. Mm -hmm. She's planning to marry it. And then she's finished her, her uh, another language is okay. Korean language. Korean language. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's all Excellent. Thank you so much. Thanks to all of you, my dearest students. And really good job. Thank you so much. Really nice job. Okay. I want to conclude the class with a very important information.
tomorrow you are going to have a new teacher just for tomorrow tuesday and my objective is he's going to he's going to teach you more vocabulary and he's going to give you some techniques in order to improve your fluency, okay? So for tomorrow, you are going to have like a conversation class and you are going to do many role plays. What is a role plays? It's like a oral presentation. So, así que mañana, eh, señores, van a estar con el teacher Alvarenga solamente mañana, no se preocupen, porque siempre busco gente que me soporte, que me ayude, que me colabore en el caso de que se tenga que trabajar alguna parte específica. El objetivo del, de él el día de mañana, él va a estar a las 7 en punto ya conectado. Obviamente yo voy a estar monitoreando la clase, pero yo no voy a participar. Pero el objetivo es que él viene con muchos role plays, ¿ok? Así que porfa, mañana trate la manera de ingresar a las 7 en punto para que aprovechen en este caso toda la clase completa, ¿ok? Dudas o consultas, estoy disponible en el WhatsApp porque ya va entrando la, el, el otro grupo de las 8 de la noche. Señores, pilas, mañana vamos con Tichar Alvarenga y espero obviamente que les guste la clase. Así que señores, Good night, people. See you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. Bye, teacher. Bye, bye.